All right, today I'm going to work on his uh, left hand and see how far I can get on that and see if I can't get started on the legs, but I kind of doubt I'm going to have time for that. But we'll try to do as much as I can today. Time to play with some clay. Be right back. I'm going to try to get this thumb worked out here. That doesn't look good. <laughs> I decided to do this hand on the arm because I didn't have the problem of reaching it like I did the other one. And uh, I'm glad I did. It's going a lot faster. I had to fix this uh, part of his chest because it didn't look right, and uh, it looks better now. I really like this mon monster clay. It, uh, as long as it's soft, it is really fun to work with, but you kind of have to work fast with it.
just a reminder, I have instructional videos, nine of them, streaming on Vimo, Vimeo or Vimo, whatever it's called. And uh, I go in a greater deep detail of uh, creating a human figure and horses and making armatures. <laughs> and uh, one on making a sculpture of a horse's head. I put all 50 years of my sculpting into those videos to pass on little tidbits of hacks that I've create, uh, been able to develop that make sculpting a whole lot easier when you use them. And if you don't want to spend 50 years doing that and you want a little bit of a shortcut and something that even if you just do it for a hobby, it's worthwhile getting uh, some of my instructional videos. I have a link in the video description below that will take you to a review of my nine videos. And uh, I'd appreciate it if you take a look at it. I get comments from people all the time in my uh, comment area and videos that somebody wants to try to take it up as a hobby in their old age. Well, it might make it just a little more fun if you know what you're doing. And I think I can help you there. Anyway, that's uh, my pitch. And uh, hope, uh, hope you take advantage of it. All right, back to sculpting. Anyway, that's where I'm thinking of having that leg come out. This one's going to disappear in the, here, so I'm not worried about this one. It's this one that I'm going to have to get the anatomy of it just right. And uh, let's see if I can get the foot at least sketched in. Well, that's a beginning. Yeah, it was just a little too long. Over time, as you're sculpting, you'll your eyes will pick these things out occasionally while you're working. And occasionally, it'll be after a couple of days away from it <laughs> that you'll notice something that's not right. Anyway, we'll work all that out next time, which will be next week. I will not be here tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to go out of uh, town for a little bit. And uh, I'll see you guys uh, next Tuesday or Monday. Yeah, I'm going to have to shape that leg and that knee area. I don't know. Does that work or not? I don't know. All right, I'm going to come back next week and uh, get this uh, worked out, hopefully.
I've also got to increase the size of this base. If I'm going to do all this, it's got to have enough room for the mold making. Anyway, let's do double check here. Yeah, that's about right. Okay. I don't know if I'm happy with those fingers and the hands yet. I'll uh, live with it over the weekend and see how I, how I feel next week. All right, everybody, have a great night. Oh, I wanted to show you what I did last night. I added a couple of feathers, you know, we just blocked in a couple of feathers. I'm, I'll uh, detail those when I get to that point. But uh, I think it adds a little more to it. And it tells you that it's a Native American and not just uh, some weird guy with an eagle flying out of his body. All right. Good night, everybody. See you next week. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.